For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so first step is in order to determine whether y is a function of x, we have to solve the equation that's given for y, meaning we need to get y by itself. Okay, that is the first step out of the three steps that I've listed at the bottom. Now, fortunately, this equation is solved for y, so we really don't have to do anything, all right? As though one thing, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, okay? So that we're able to easily plug it into the calculator. So if I were now to um, separate this, let's just say, into the positive and negative answers, that will allow us to plug it into the calculator, all right? Uh, so most calculators at least. So now y will then be equal to positive, okay, square root, oops, of one minus x. And then we would also then break that up into y equals negative square root of one minus x. And now these are the two functions that we are able to plug on into the calculator, okay? We can now plug these two in. So you'd wanna put them both under the y equals in your, um, on your, uh, most likely using the t, a ti something, all right? Um, so just plug in both of these and then you'll be able to graph it. Now, if I were to now sketch that on the page, okay, what it should look like, it should look like a rotated parabola. Okay, something like this. Now the intersection point is probably gonna be, you know, in terms of the x-axis, probably around one, okay? But that's not really important. You can just sketch this, who cares where it intersects. It's not important to determine whether this thing is a function or not. So just knowing the general shapes of the graph are really what's important, okay? So you wanna be focused in on identifying certain patterns. So now that we have that graph understood and drawn out, what I'm now going to do is I'm now gonna conduct the vertical line test, okay? And the vertical line test then uh, tells me that if the graph or, or if the vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, then the graph is a function. So I choose to draw this vertical line here and I realize, oh no, oh no, it, intersect, it intersected more than once, right, it intersected twice. And therefore I can state that this is then not a function. Okay, as long as it intersects more than once, could intersect two, three, four, five, 18 million times, doesn't matter, it's not a function. All right, so this thing that they gave us, not a function. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.